everyone wants to have friends. But good friendships don't just happen. If you really want to have good friends, you have to be a good friend first. Want to know how? The secret to friendship is simple. It's called courtesy. What's the matter? You don't know what courtesy is? Courtesy is just another word for caring. When we think about how other people feel before we do things, we're making a choice to be courteous, to show we care. But when we forget to care about the feelings of others, we're making a choice not to be courteous. Courtesy is just saying and doing things that make other people feel good. And that way, we feel good too. So, how do you show courtesy? Well, by holding the door for another person. Helping someone carry heavy packages. Or making sure everyone is included when you play a game. Now it's easy to remember to be courteous at special times, like birthdays, holidays, or when someone is sick. Get well soon, Goof. And it's also easy to be courteous when you know that people like parents or teachers are watching you. But if you're really courteous, you'll be courteous to everyone. New kids, people who may look or act differently, older people, and of course, your family and friends. Remember, to have friends, you have to be a friend first. And a real friend is always courteous. And when you're courteous, you get something extra. Not only does it make other people feel happy, but it also makes you feel good inside, too. Ah, Donald, you're wondering how else you can show courtesy. Well, do you think this group knows how to be courteous? Right, Donald. The kids in that class were only thinking about themselves. When you act calmly and quietly, especially in quiet places, like the library, then you're showing you know what it means to be courteous. When you're in class, don't interrupt when someone else is speaking. Instead, raise your hand and wait for your turn. Taking turns gives everyone a chance to join in, and that's a good way to make new friends. Another way to take turns is by sharing. That means letting other people use your things and being careful with things that belong to others. See what I mean? Ah, oh, poor Dumbo. Do you ever call people names or leave them out of games and activities? I hope not, because it hurts their feelings. Think how you would feel if it happened to you. If someone needs help, why don't you be the one to help? And when you're playing a game, be sure and invite others to join in if they want to. It's more fun when everybody plays. Hold it! How about when you want something like more food at the table? Is it courteous to grab what you want without asking first? Right, you should never grab. Every courteous person knows those magic words, please, thank you, may I, and excuse me. Why do we call these words magic? Because when we use them, people's frowns disappear, and they usually become more friendly. And you're more likely to get what you ask for. There's really no trick to it. And by the way, those magic words work just as well on the phone. Make sure you don't do all the talking. By remembering to listen carefully, we're showing people that what they say is important to us. 
And if you're taking a message for someone else, ask who is calling, what their number is, and always write it down. There's always a special happy feeling when you treat someone nicely. Like saying hello to a new person at school. Introducing yourself and others is important because everyone likes to feel welcome. Where gets the name? Why they call me Thumper? They call me Thumper. Why, Mickey Mouse? Yes, the key to courtesy is showing that you care. If you show others you care, chances are they'll care about you. So be a friend by being courteous, and you'll have lots of friends. Oh, I nearly forgot. You know, being courteous also means saying goodbye nicely. Bye-bye.